So in this episode, we are going to be doing navigation. What that means is we are going to create navigation on the WordPress side. Uh, we are going to create a menu and then we are going to display that menu on our Saper and Svelte site. Also, I'm going to show you how to handle pages because of course that navigation is going to contain pages and we want to show those pages on our Saper and Svelte website. In the last episode, I gave you some homework. So before we begin with this, I'm, I just want to show you where that, where the solution for that homework is. I'm not going to go into much detail. You can read the code and figure out, figure it out for yourself. But let me just show you. So we didn't cover how to refactor our categories and pagination in those categories. So now, if you click on books, you get category books. You get the name of that category, and as you can see, the pagination here works as expected but also uh, note that the navigation actually the pagination is changing uh, the url just like on our home page so to do that you would have to create a, a little bit different directory structure in your routes folder so we have categories and then we have a slug of that category and in slug you would have index.svelte so this is going to be the main page of our category and then you ha would have this page uh, page directory with number.svelte is going to take a number uh, this is for our pagination it's very similar to what we did on our home page as i said not going to get too much into it this is going to be on github so you can e either download it or just check out the code for yourself or maybe you have come up with a better better solution and if you did please let me know Okay, so I did a few things before making this video, uh, just behind the scenes, because I don't want to go through it all. Uh, it's just going to take up time and you can do this yourself. I know you can't, you're pretty smart guys. So in our dashboard, or uh, in our administration, actually, I created just three pages about contact and products. I also created a menu, which is going to have home, products, contact, and about. And also I installed this plugin because you are going to be needing this plugin because WP REST API doesn't support menus by default, right? So you have to install this plugin and that plugin is going to give you these endpoints. Uh, there is nothing to set up. You just install it. So it's called WP REST API V2 menus. You just install it. There are no settings or anything. And you would get, once you activate it, you would get just these endpoints right here. So uh, this is the way we are going to access our menus and I can show you that right here. So if you go to menus, menus v1 menus, you would get the menu that I currently have in my WordPress administration. The slug of that menu is main menu. And if I want to access that menu, I would just go right here and do main menu. And then I would get all of the items in it. As you can see, home, products contact and about right so we can loop through this data and create our menu so to create our menu we are going to actually hook into already existing menu on our page so if we go to our home page this is our site right we already have this menu right here so just we are just going to use that component and we are going to use that styling and markup to create our own menu but before we do that we need to connect to our api to get these menu items and as i said to connect to menu api you would go to wpjson menus v1 menus main menu and so on so let's get to it and we are going to do this in layout that's felt just like we did for categories because uh, we want to show that menu on every page so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to make this to be response of menu and we are going to go to so menus v1 menus main menu Okay, so this is going to be our menu. Next, this is going to be called uh, menu items. And we are just awaiting JSON response. And of course, we want to return those menu items right here. 
great. We of course want to return them here. Menu items. And uh, then we we have this navigation. So this is our layout. A layout is going to be displayed everywhere. And we have this navigation component in which our menu actually resides. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to pass those menu items. We already did this in previous episodes and especially in the last episode. So I'm just going to pass those menu items into navigation. Okay, great. And if we want to take a look at them, uh, we can console log them out. Okay, I screwed something up and I know exactly what I screwed up. So this should not be res.json, but res menu. Okay, refresh it. Menu items. Okay, did I screw something else up? Nope. Okay, save this, go to our page right now. Let's hope it works. And... Uh, Let's go on the home page, refresh it again, and we are getting this object right here. So this is our main menu, and these are going to be our items in that menu. So just remember that. Okay, let's go to, to our navigation right now. And I'm actually going to delete all, delete this comment and comment this out. And we also want to define prop that we are expecting right here. Uh, here in the script tag so it's going to be export let menu items okay and now we just want to loop through those menu items but but since our menu items the array with the items is in actually this items property we need to uh, access them like this so i'm going to do each menu items uh in item actually as item as item but we need to do a dot items because this is where actually our items are and then we just need to do each okay next thing we want to take one of these li tags and just paste them right in here and maybe to display the title of the menu so let me just see if we go to our api we can see something like okay so this is the post title but i don't like that we have home right here so title so to access that we are going to go to php storm and do item dot title okay let's check it out if it works okay great we are getting home products uh, contact about of course none of this works because the hrf for that or the link to those items is actually just a dot so to change that we need to do something like this so uh, we need to think about this a little bit i'm going to put this in another row and this hrf also so if we are on the home page if we are on the home page, then our URL should not be home. Why am I saying that? Because as you will see, if we go to our API and go to the home page, so this is home page, and the slug for that is home. And we don't have that page uh, on our site. We have an index page which we can access by just going to the root of our site, right? So we can't use this slug right here. So we need to add a little bit of logic. And to do that, we are just going to say if, so if item that slug is equal to home, then uh, what we want to do is we want to define the URL for this to be that dot, right? Dot, great. If it isn't, then we want to take the slug. So item dot slug. Great. We can save this, go to our page. And now, as you can see, if I click on products, I'm going to go to the products page that currently doesn't exist. 
if you click on contact you're going to go to contact about but if you click on home you're just going to get to the home page of course our active links still don't work because we didn't mess around with this part of code uh, where we are checking if the segment is equal to our slug uh, we are going to do that just a bit later, but before we do that, I just want to uh, resolve this situation with the pages. So I actually want us to display those pages. We are getting the about the site because we have about page in our routes, if we check it down here. But I'm going to delete that because we are not going to be needing it. And on our page now, this is also going to be 404. So what we actually want to do is we want to display these pages right here when somebody clicks on something here right so that's what we are going to be doing in just a second so to create the routes for our pages is actually going to be super easy so we just need to create a, in our routes in the root of the routes folder we just need to create a file called slug.svelte okay and then this already should work so hello if i save this go to our site as you can see hello but on every page that we go to we are going to be seeing hello right of course we don't want that we actually want to display the content of the pages from our wordpress part of uh, this application okay so i'm just going to go right here and if you go to articles category and then this slug you can just copy all of this out, uh, go to route slug and paste this in, right? And then just change a little bit uh, of stuff right here because uh, we are using this code to access our posts and this is pretty much the same thing that you would do for your uh, pages. So uh, for our response, this is not going to be posts, but it's going to be pages pages slug equals to parameter that we are getting through our slug we are waiting for response we are going to call this page page of course we need to define it right here we are going to delete this console log this is going to be page title rendered and our content is going to be page content rendered I mean, this is super easy. Actually, it's super easy because we already got it done. But uh, if we save this now, go to our site, this should actually work. So if I go to products, this is my products page. If I go to contact, my contact page. And if I go to about, this is my about page. Great. Now, all that it's left, uh, we need to deal with this active links. So which links are active currently? Okay, so uh, to create those active links, it's actually very simple. All you need to do is you need to check if the segment is equal to your item slug. So you can just do something like this, item.slug, save it. And then if we go to our page, as you can see now, we are lost it on the home page, but on the products, contact and about pages, it works. Uh, it doesn't work on our home page because for home page you need to set just like it was before. So you need to check if it is undefined. So you again need to do some logic and we are just going to copy this from here and say uh, if the item slug is equal to home then check if segment is equal to undefined. Otherwise check if segment is equal to item slug okay save this check it out on our page and if we go to home now the home is active products are active contact is active about everything works for your homework try handling this type of menu structure with sub items this really shouldn't be that hard uh, you get everything in your menu endpoints uh, but of course if you're having problems with it the solution will be in the next video and of course on github 
So anyway, uh, this has been it for this video. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.